Hello everybody and welcome back to Theme Park Coasting and today we are over here at the Orton Towers Splash Landings Hotel for an absolutely amazing vlog on the channel as we will be heading inside this hotel for a one night stay which will be totally magical featuring the extraordinary golf and a normal bedroom as well as so much more including eating a meal, having breakfast and we will be sharing all of that with you along the way. But stay with me tonight, we've got Adam Derek, Jaden, as well as our both families. But first reactions, this hotel looks amazing. And located right next to the monorail into Orton Towers, it is a perfect location to stay. However, already when parking up into this hotel, the parking is quite limited, so be aware of that before you go. But so far, when looking at this hotel, we've been in it before, but never stayed overnight. So how does it look? I mean, it looks quite nice in this. It's very well themed. Like, obviously, we've got the Legoland ones to us, and they're actually very, very well themed. But I think they're the most themed at the moment. But look at one tower, they're very themed. But this is actually one of five hotels at this resort. Basically, you've got the Splash Landings, you've got the main hotel, you've got, oh no, it's there's six. You've got CBB's Land, you've got the tree houses, which are like really expensive. Then you've got the lodges, I think, in the treehouse area. And then also, you've got the Stargazing Pods. But yeah. I am actually really glad to say here, we've done said there, well, I've never said it before. And it does look pretty good to us, but yeah. And also, of course, with the stay, you do get nine free holes with the Crazy Golf, or you can up upgrade for like I mean, £2 pounds each. Yeah, which I mean, is we'd worth, probably do that. Yeah, and we'll see your horse over for mini golf along the way. But, Jaden, are you excited? And how does the hotel look? Your first ever night over at Alton Towers? Ah, I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, it looks good, it looks really good. Uh, the, uh, the entrance is cool. Yeah, I was saying, it looks like cheap, but it looks really, really authentic. And of course, inside this hotel is where the water park is located. Yeah, uh, we're not going to do that now. No, I don't think we're going to do the water park, but we will still. Well, what do you think of me? We will, we will show the water park as well. And if you do want to see the whole day vlog from over here today, because we've actually got a day at park, check our link up there after watching this amazing hotel vlog. But with no further ado, let's splash into the Splash Landings Hotel. Okay, here we head into the lobby of the hotel. Me and Adam have been in here before, but Jaden has never been in here. And looking at this, it does look pretty awesome. But I want to take you straight over to those windows, Jaden, over there, because there's something out of those windows. I which, guess it's the water. But the view of it looks absolutely awesome. So let's go down here. And of course, there's tables up here, which is probably where the seating sort of areas. I've got some really awesome feelings, so I'm so far mega impressed with this hotel. But ready to take a view out of this window because it is pretty awesome. That is a good view. That is such a good view. Now, of course, That's we'll not look, awesome I think it's like fifty pounds to get into the water park. Fifty pounds? No, it's not. It's um, to get into the water park. It's like twenty pounds for Merlin Pass. It's something along them lines. Uh, it's very bad for Merlin Pass, and that's each. So it's quite expensive, but if you don't have Merlin Passes, I think it's around 30, so it's a little bit pricey. But again, I think you get it for the whole day. I'm not sure about that again, but it looks like you probably do. Do you know as well, it does go outside, so it's not only this indoor bit, it does actually go outside. Yeah, that's how you use the water park because because there's massive slides that go up and down, which obviously is awesome. You've got all these sort of play area, and of course, it is outdoors as well. It looks like it goes into something else. Right? Yeah, I mean, nothing down there, like the sort of on a slide. But and anyway, even more important, we need to go and hunt for pin badges because there's a splash landing one, and I need to find it here. So let's go and have a look around the whole bit. Now, of course, you have got all the seat now. I think it's also downstairs, and across this vlog, we'll be showing you around every single thing that is to do with this hotel. But first, while they check into the hotel room, we're going to be heading into the shack and see what it is to offer over here. Now, of course, if you do stay in the hotel, I think you automatically get tickets into water or now's park itself. But Adam is straight over looking for a pin badge, which he wants to get. Have you got it? Come on. No. Oh, there's not too much weight right here. I don't think it is. No, but something I've just noticed is they do actually have the resins here and they don't actually have them on site at the moment. So if you are looking for extra little things, maybe just go into this shop where there's quite a lot of things now I'm noticing which I haven't noticed like actually in the shop, like the shop glasses there. Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, I've got, oh, we have got them. We have got them, like separate do ones. Do you want that to come up? I'd be glad to come But yeah, I said some things here you cannot get yeah, in the actual shop. Magnus. So they have what we talked about, which Jane has got. But yeah, I'm really pleased with the hotel so far and I'm so looking forward to heading up to a room which we'll do right away. Okay, here we are now heading through the hallway and looking through here, I am so, so excited. The doors look actually like some of the beach and stuff and I'm so, so impressed with this hotel. I think it's one of the best hotels, theme park wise, I've ever been into. And Adam is right on the corner ready to show us in our room 
Oh, there's more rooms down there. It's just because of forever. And he's still walking down, going down here, and we will get over to a room in one sec. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely cool. The lighting as well, the room numbers, the pictures on the wall, really created a great atmosphere when walking through here. And I don't think I've actually been to many hotels where just even the hallway is themed as much as this. But Adam is going to get ready to open this door. We are room number 1456. And are we ready to go into the Splash Landing Hotel? Here at my favourite part of all hotel blocks. Okay. Open the door and revealing the Splash Landing's room. And oh, this does look so. I absolutely love it. And is the view cool, Adam? Is the view cool? Oh, we've got a view. We've got a view outside over towards the trees. But this room is so cool. You might need to let my dad in. Oh, yeah. But round here, you've obviously got a bunk bed, which, in my opinion, is better than having two of your beds if you are kids because. Otherwise, you can get away with stuff. Also, you've got a double bed over here, TV. Thank God there's a fan on these hot days, as oh. well as seating, lighting, desk, and so much more. But this room looks absolutely awesome. Hello over there, as we're just going to quickly nip through down into the bathroom down there. And is there any lights? Is there any lights somewhere? Let me have a look. There we go. In through here. Oh, that's cool. I like my little light there. And then, of course, you've got the mirror, sink toilet and a bathtub which are you a bath and shower person i don't know but for me a bath person all the way now first reactions of course the hotel and the room and i can't want to get poster home <laughs> no you can't obviously but it's a really cool it's poster nice, yeah. so how would you rank this out of all the hotel rooms that you've been into um it's quite nice like i like the hotel I mean, it's not really the sort of theme I would go for, to be honest, so it's sort of the, the Jamaican sort of theme. I personally wouldn't go for that, but, as we have, um, it's alright, like, it's quite nice. The room's not as theme as I thought, but, yeah, it, it, it's a nice hotel, and, yeah, it looks pretty good. I, it's probably in, like, the middle end of the hotels I've been to, but it's very well themed. So. Very well themed. Yeah, it's very well themed. And, of course, what's down there, oh, a little cupboard as well, which is really cool. Hair also, dry. hair dryer. So, all the essentials that you're going to need. And what I think the best thing about this hotel is the location, how it is literally less than a minute walk away from the monorail, so you can get straight into a park. Now, that is pretty much most things around the hotel. Of course, we will take you down over towards the lobby area. Jaden is one floor below us, because actually, the lobby floor is actually the highest floor there is in the hotel. So you actually have to go below and below again to get all the floors, as the water park is also situated down, which means that you can get that awesome view. But across today, we're going to be taking you over towards the Crazy Golf, heading back in the room, looking at what breakfast is like if you go out tomorrow, and saying everything there is to do with a hotel, because sometimes with hotels, you get in there and then... Across the night, you're like, oh, it's really uncomfortable, or it's a really nice sleep. So, I like to share all that sort of stuff with you, and not just the initial reactions. Also, as well, another thing I have to say is apparently the other day, Alton Towers, a bit of Alton Towers did get flooded. I'm not sure if this happened. It was like last night or the night before, I think. Um, so far, we haven't seen anything. So, clearly, they've cleared it up, which is very well. Um, is, they, did, they did a really good job to most. Because when I saw a photo of it, it was literally all over the pathways and everything. They did a really good job to clear it up, and I haven't seen any of it. So, the restaurant should be open. Unfortunately, the Welcome restaurant is booked out though, which is quite annoying. But I mean, it's been booked out for ages now. Like, I think for September, it's quite late. So yeah. But yeah, of course, Welcome is one of the on-site dining as well, which you can get over here at One Hotel. It's very but expensive. but it is very expensive. It and, is worth it. And, and, and I've heard it's not very good. Uh, yeah, in my opinion, I think for your first time when going over towards Orchestra Restaurant, I think it's worth it. Now, after that, the experience of when the roller coasters go around with your food kind of dies down. So, if you've been there before, you may agree with me, you may not. But if you haven't been there before, I do recommend going. But the food is quite pricey for what you do get. But now it's time to do some crazy golf.
Here we are back in the lobby after an amazing game of golf, which I really, really enjoyed. I felt like I made a great break within the day over here at Orton Towers. And also, as it is included within the hotel, I was so utterly impressed with what you got with your money. But we are now back in it as well after a whole day at the park. So it is the evening, and look at that entertainment right there. It's absolutely amazing and we're so shocked for coming in here and what this hotel is doing. And of course, I've never been down here yet, Jane Nance, but here we now go down in towards the restaurant. We're going to have a quick look at the menu for the food over here. But yeah, it is absolutely amazing, this hotel. And Jaden, 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 it's something bold. How, how have you found this hotel in the evening? Because obviously we've seen it in the day, but the evening. It's actually really nice. Like, with the night time and the it's good. Yeah, we said it was like a nightclub or something, or it's holiday resorts that you go to and stuff. But again, we're going to look at the other where I go. Yeah, again, okay. so we're going to look at the food, see what we have to do, shades and clips, and if we do eat here, we'll give you a food review. Well, that was an adventure. Basically, we went to look at that restaurant and it did look like a really nice restaurant and we would have eaten it, but there just wasn't enough on the menu and the things that were on the menu were just so expensive it didn't really fit our taste buds at that time of the day. So then we started to have a look around all the different hotels because what you may not know is that if you stay in one of these hotels, you get to eat in the other hotels or go in the facilities there, apart from CBB's hotel, that's the only exception. So we did look at the, the bar uh, and grill, what was the one we went to? Wait, anyway, it was one in, it was something in the Chelsea Village oh, and no. oh. it looked really nice actually and the, the food was obviously expensive, it was a theme park food, we get it but there wasn't enough spaces and we felt like even at this hotel there wasn't enough spaces and, no, I, f and I feel like at some times it's sometimes a bit like you should have enough spaces for everyone in now I know some people are going to get separate food on places but you should have enough spaces for everyone to be able to sit down and eat at some point in the day yeah. not just have I mean, it was all. nice to explore the hotels like I was saying like well tomorrow morning we're just going to have a look around all the hotels I'm sure you may from then as well and we're going to look around the hotels but this evening we just thought oh, it would be nice to run the hotels anyway and they're actually all really nice the hotels um, but yeah, it was a little bit annoying because it's a welcome restaurant. I mean, we sort of just tried like that. We tried twice and like just see if there's any bird. And it was totally fine that it wasn't. But we thought we could maybe get somewhere on the resort and there wasn't. So we did actually have to go out at the expense, really. Yeah, we so then we had to then go out of the resort, yeah. which obviously was fine. We went out, we went to this restaurant. That was obviously packed because there's not many things in the Walton Towers that you can eat at. It was so like a half an hour drive. Was, maybe. Half an hour drive, went to this like premier room thing, and then that was too busy and it took too long. So we went over to my Mackey D's. And now we travel back here and now we're in the hotel room. But on the way back, I was going to mention it's like 10 o'clock now, but we will be heading out to the bar right away to show you a bit around there. But what I do have to mention is that when going back, you don't go through the normal tower entrance. No. You have to go around the side. It's like yeah. 200 meters down and it looks like a staff entrance. I think it is yeah, a staff entrance normally. Um, it is usually a staff entrance. It's just on the way up. It's the first entrance. It basically looks like a normal entrance and it's the entrance on the way up to the, like, the main okay. entrance basically. Yeah. And a lot of people would think like obviously it could be the main entrance but it's not just go a little bit further yeah, but yeah that is actually the entrance if you are staying at one of the hotels mm -hmm. if you're going past yeah. a certain time maybe about eight o'clock i'd personally go where well, you have to have that entrance basically but yeah i mean it's, it's still quite cool it's quite cool i was happy to do it but like there were loads of lights around it was actually really nice but exactly. yeah nothing beats walking down the corridor of the splash landing hotel with some nice chocolate Oh, look at the water park, amazing. There's Master Blaster. There's Monster Blaster, which is that slide. And Tom, yeah, Tom doesn't even know what that is, but yeah, that's that water tube slide. I, I think that's what it's called. I tried to actually get the name there, but I probably found it. And we said a long way, look at feet, even the lips are. I mean, see, this is what I was saying, like, it's ridiculous what I think. And, I mean, you may look at this now, like, just look at this. You may look at this now and say, is this just a cut out? No, it's not. It's full on. It's full on. It's full on. It's so ridiculous what I think. It's what I was saying, like, I don't think I've ever been, like, I've been in a couple of pretty good hotels. This is one of the most themed in the world. Like. And I've got to say, it's one of my favourite hotels I've been to. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I think it really brightens up at night. It has that sort of mood. It has that charm at night, yeah. If which you haven't seen before. If you guys were like Jamaican sort of like, feel there, like, book this straight away and come this Yeah, place out, listen, right? we went to Caribbean Beach at Disney World before our first visit and it feels a lot like that. I yeah, mean, like, very similar. They put ideas if this was set. Yeah, like, like, like I said, I feel like it makes it feel like I'm on holiday, which is a really nice feeling when we're in the middle of the UK. So yeah, let's get to the bar. Here we are now 
now we're in the list of Dan's amazing drinks, and we're not done yet. We're doing another cup bet, and we're going to do a tour around it. But there's even more stuff in it. So we're going to quick look at some that we noticed actually outside, not outside, actually, is it this out, spot? I think it's this spot. Oh, there it is. Inside. So have a look. Okay, basically, we found this walkthrough thing, which is open until 7 to 11, and we've, literally got, we've got three, three minutes. minutes. But well, look how cool this is. Like, we've literally we've got, got three minutes. We've got three minutes. But look how cool this is. You get to walk Whoa. around for walking. We need to do this tomorrow. Like, it's, it's a really cool hotel. Like, you occasionally will notice it. It does smell chlorine, though. Yeah, it's very nice. cool. You can look at that one, and this hotel is stuff. so awesome. Oh I my just wish we had longer to actually go in. I know, exactly. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I mean, we were just discussing there about like Christmas and everything. And I would love to come okay. back. I don't, I'm sorry, can you just talk this side so everyone can see Water Park? Oh, because sorry. it's so cool. <laughs> so at Christmas, um, basically, oh, can I say one thing great as well? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh it's so cool. Look at outside it. there. I see it there. Outside there's also an extension to the Water Park as well. So, uh, like, summertime, you can go outside. But basically, as we were saying about Christmas, what basically happens is you have your first thing you have to go into the park. So I mean, you don't have to, obviously. Like if you choose not to, you don't have to go into the park. But it's advised. Right, like basically, if you want, oh, so confusing. But if you want to go to the park, like you do on the first day, and then on the second day, you do the golf, water park, everything along them lines. And we would say it'd be nice to do that one day because you could do the golf and the water park. We sort of just chill out in the hotel a little bit, have a proper explore of it. Because at the moment, we literally have like one minute left to explore this area, so we need to go. Really, but, really, but also, have a look at here, little lazy river and stuff you've got. It's a really well hotel though. And yeah, like, even like around on the building, they don't need to have anything in front of the windows. They make all the like, little houses around here and stuff, and I wish I could go so, over. Another but, thing we're saying as well, and they're like, we'll carry walking, but even down here, like we were saying, the, the, at the current, obviously it's closed. <laughs> But they do actually have the lighting on, so they've just been a little bit more of an effort. Like some water parks, they shut the thing off. But obviously, as you're sitting up there at the bar where our parents are sitting up there currently, um, yeah, like you would expect probably nothing to be down here. They put some nice lights, so you have a nice view. Exactly. But that's what we're saying. Yeah. It's been so much effort. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Really we're, nice. we're going down here. We're like, we're, yeah. We're like, we don't need to paint anything in here. We don't need to like light up because the park shows and everything. But to make it look better, nice and just lovely. Just make it look, they put stuff in here, and I look slides. Oh, I really want to go to here. It's incredibly hot as well. Yeah, it's hot, and um, obviously it's a water park, so... And we've got one minute. We were literally saying, we were literally saying, this is the UK Disney. Yeah, it's literally. Now, like I said earlier, on the way over towards it, so we hotels. stayed at something called Ca uh, Caribbean Beach in Florida, and it is just that. But I'm going to be a bit more quiet, because we're going some rooms. But we're going to head back up. I think it's this way to the bar. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's nice and cool, isn't it? Oh, Okay, let's go. Exit to car park. Even down here, like, each of the hallways have got different theming, and this is where the conference rooms are. And I don't think it's too expensive down here, but just no, that, that sort of experience. Mm -hmm. they don't, again, they don't need to have a path going past no. it, because you could just pay to go in. But to make it more of an experience, you can just walk along there, and I thought that was 100% worth it. Yeah, exactly. Rocks. And it's just so cool. But um, I want to ask you a quick question quickly. What do you think is, wait, can you get out here? You can I get out here. So. And you go towards the car park oh, down here. We're back outside. outside. But, right. I'll ask you a question. Would, would, what would you prefer? And obviously none of this is going to happen, but would you rather go into the water park now or the theme park? So, I mean, I've been to the theme park now for like over 30 days, probably overall. And only because of that, I would probably say the water park. Oh. But all seriousness though, if you came to the park, personally what I would do, is that you come from abroad, like from America or any other country? I would come here. You'd probably have to be abroad or a very like not very often visit, like maybe once every ten years or something. I would come down. I spend three days if you can. Spend three days. I would have two days in the park because you need two days at least now. Um, if the park's up until four o'clock, which it sometimes can do, I would maybe get a fast track on one of the days because it could help. But personally, on the other day, I would do the golf, and it's definitely worth paying for the extra nine golfs, or the extra yeah. nine sort of really holes. Though we came out the way, so basically that's another hotel there, which is about a set, because I'm uh, Like I would definitely do that, and then do the water park. And the water park is quite pricey, but I find it's pretty good. Like we oh, should definitely come. It back. looks like it's worth it. Definitely like worth it. Yeah, but, definitely. But what I was going to say actually is that we will be heading down a bit more of a tour of a hotel, as well as heading around the other hotels, because we have. Breakfast at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. I don't know whether Jay's gonna be awake. Not but, too early. But me, Adam, and my dad, when we're in the car, we're gonna take a quick tour 
for you guys around all the other morning. hotels and stuff in the morning, just in case. It obviously it won't be a full in depth looking at the no, rooms I mean, and everything. And we'll probably be shattered, so. <laughs> it will also put well, lobbies as well, probably show a little bit inside, but not enough like this vlog here or this hotel here. So if you do want to see more, subscribe and comment what hotels you want to see. But we'll be showing you a little glimpse of what other hotels have to offer over Hitler Park. I mean, but like, I, I love this say, one personally. Exactly, man. I wouldn't say there's one bad hotel up here, but even the Sargans and Pods, right? They're very. Like, I mean, I know say they up to four people. I'd probably recommend three, maybe two. I don't know. But, like, even them look lovely. They, they just make everything look so nice at Haunted Towers. They just, they, it's, it's such a magical place. Like, it's amazing. It really, it really, and like I said, first reaction. I'm now walking to, like, the, the dark forest. Yeah, the dark forest. But, dark forest. I said, it's just so lovely. This whole resort, how you can just go in here and explain. Oh, let's go here, let's go here. Okay. Yeah. We're basically a bit lost because we didn't realize that that's going to lead out there. No. <laughs> Probably in the morning we're going to walk down there and realize that we were. Yeah, but it's still, again, one of those things, I love this hotel, but I think now I want to go back into a bar, I'll grab some more drinks. Yeah, and we'll get some more stuff. When, when he says more drinks, he means water. Yeah. Again, yeah. He only likes water. We, we, exactly. He doesn't like any other drink. We are, we are, okay, sorry for the darkness, but we are, we are I'll put you this way. Oh, wait, we don't have your light. No, we are. We are Jeez, obviously God. under under 18 so we can't drink, but we do have I mean, water, they have slushies, oh, yeah, yeah. and again I thought we could this sort of place off because it's just, I am just so overwhelmed I mean, by this hotel, entrance, and I, we were sent, I, even when we return in the future, because obviously it's a long journey for us, Yeah, I mean, I it's we, just, we, we, we just need to research this hotel, exactly. because it's like, just look how nice it is. We missed a lot of it, and I know when we're going to leave, we're going to say, oh wow, we missed a lot, so... You know, tonight I'm probably going to watch a couple of videos on it, just having a look at where else we can go in this hotel, but we're going to have to wake up nice and early tomorrow, maybe six even, to have a look around this hotel, yeah, yeah. but we'll definitely film it for you guys. And yeah. That's really cool, I love having a decent Oh, maybe we've got a really long video here, to all you go about, but <laughs> we'll, we're going to we're just start it down there, I'll show you where actually it was quick, let's go around here, I'll show, I'll show you where we were, we were literally down. We're literally down at this path walking down there. Yeah. I saw him, but Jake, they've gone down there, and then Adam. And then we were yeah, like, so yeah. I went, so after we were seeing like, the path down the bottom, and I was like, yeah, I don't think it would be an album. And you were allowed to walk on the top there. They just been such, they've got a lot of effort. Well, so you put Jake and oh no, he just got on off, got on and off. Oh, but yeah, it's great. I'll sort of depends what I say. Once I sit down and grab some more drink. Okay. Here we are, as I promised you, we are back in the bar, but I've got to say, I did go around that one more time because I wanted to see what it looked like in the pool. But we've got some quite exciting news. It's not definite, but possibly we could be going in the pool over at the Splash Landings tomorrow. Now, obviously, I can't film in there because of obvious reasons, but I will be carrying this vlog and giving you a review if we do end up doing that. You didn't have a bloody clue. But, so far, it's been lovely, honestly. Like sitting it's here, it's been really so nice. relaxing. There's so something nice. about this hotel, it just feels so chilled out. Um, I don't know, everything just feels so nice. It's very much of the Caribbean. Yeah, and, and, and now it's like, a, it's like half 11 at the moment, and obviously, normally, they would rush around bars, but here we're just like, we're just taking it. The ladies come behind us, you're gonna rush us out now, you wait. But honestly, it's just so chilled out here, and it's so nice. They're all staff friendly, they don't serve you now, obviously. Like, we're serving stuff all the time. But, I mean, seriously, if you look at the time now, I think it was about 11.30, so it's half past 11. That's understandable that obviously the bar's not still running, but obviously it is a family resort, family theme bar, so. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't even expect it to be open at 11, to be honest, but yeah, they've just been so much effort. Do you want to go downstairs? We're going to have to explore a little bit, but first I'm going to ask the adult. So, Dad, I think my dad's asleep, but Dad, if you're awake a little bit, how would your stay be? Good? Thumbs up? Great. <laughs> and Mum, how have you found it so far over here? What, the actual hotel? Yeah. It's lovely, it's very well themed. I like all the lights. Yeah, it's amazing. And aren't you getting on good? Enjoy yeah, your... Yeah, really good, yeah. It's like on holiday. It does, it's doesn't it? Like yeah, exactly. It has that nice charm about it. In the UK, it's freezing and wet outside. But in here, it's like having some drinks, sitting out in the bar. It feels like we're in the Mediterranean. <laughs> but we're now going to go as a good more explore. Huh? Caribbean, same name as but we are now going to head a bit more explore around the hotel because Literally. after doing that there, we thought we might as well explore a little bit more of the resort. So, if you want to know, this is how I actually got my slushies. They're so good. They, that slushy machine. Oh, they're amazing. Like, all the slushies are amazing. So, over here, it's basically, you saw the bar area. 
So this is just sauce. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is probably filled inside like chips. So you can just sit down. Obviously, when it's busy, you sit down over there. But yeah. And also, if you didn't know as well, down here, these windows here, What's out the here. What's the time as well? What's the time now? A bit of when the building's on the drop, but nowadays it just says the time it is. Oh. But also, that is the oh. building. Oh. And oh. yes, to Master Blast. Oh. Tomorrow. So sorry. Tomorrow we could be riding out right back there. I mean, oh my god, it looks absolutely amazing at water slides. Yeah, I mean, I've never taken a PRV of it, so tonight, if you've ever done a PRV on it, you are getting a lot of views tonight. <laughs> you sure are, you sure are. Now, I think I showed you this earlier, but if you head down here, you get to where it's the breakfast. For breakfast. So, this is actually all inclusive, so, well, not all inclusive. Okay, here tomorrow. So, this is actually included in your stay. You get an all feed buffet in the morning, which is like amazing. So, yeah. tomorrow I mean, morning. Yeah. Tomorrow morning at 8, and then even that, like, gets. Yeah, really I said, it's cool. just a sort of thing, it's just so cool. Like, yeah, you look around here, that's. It's actually quite a nice set up. But I said, it feels, it, it feels tropical. Like, like, if you come from the Mediterranean or wherever the place is, if it was a very short point, you're going to love this place. Oh, like, it's, I mean, we notice every detail, and like, yeah. that is just so good. Uh, yeah. Hello! So, now, <laughs> they're going down into the water pop there. So you are actually allowed into a little bit of water pop. We think. We think. We think you're allowed down there. It's here. open, but so. It's not, it's not as dominant, and that's where we walked for a second ago. Yeah. Yeah. But down here is where you, we're going to be heading down tomorrow. Well, maybe. So, yeah, FIFA coasting. But yeah, we'll be so heading. Basically, the plan is tomorrow is that we're going to be going from 5.30 to 8 o'clock and yes, yeah, so we're at 5 o'clock to so this is actually open one hour later than the park is which is actually quite exciting so we've decided to say one hour later so we'll obviously be doing the water park now for another hour but we'll pretty much have a full day at the park which will be nice so down here, well we said earlier, we'll be heading in tomorrow. Now it's a bit weird, we've got turnstiles into the water park itself which I think is a bit odd but Still absolutely awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. It's like you're going to the turnstiles at the theme park. They also have got a special water park, and I wonder what the sound effects are going to be like. Exactly. Obviously, it all towers are different sound effects, and the same park as well. So. And then also you've got the map of the whole hotel here, as well as the other Alton Towers Hotel, which is awesome. And then you've got the actual map of the water park just done here, where again, I'm going to head tomorrow. I'll give our view. I think the time we're doing it is like. Five o'clock ish, so five thirty. So we can't see whether we're in the same state as this one, but we will be giving her a view later on after it. Obviously, after we check out everything of the actual water park itself. But again, it's down here. It's all, it's all water park down here. It's like yeah, it's so this is sort of like the water park floor, and we do actually have rooms down there as well, and there's rooms up here. We're actually now going to take off the rooms. I think we have a little bit of I don't know, we've done it, I think it's some bedrooms down here. It's some bedrooms down here, and through here it's just some stairs, I think. Actually, yeah, it's just some stairs around here, and some also outdoor seating just up there. But yeah, let's go up to the next floor. I think it's shut. Here we go. How are we going up? What are we going up? Well, that's pretty much all you can see at night time. There's not a lot more of a hotel for night time wise, but in the daytime, it's just like the arcade and things like that, which I'll be showing you in our little bit of a morning tour before we go down for breakfast at 8 o'clock. Now, we have looked into the water park, and of course, we haven't booked it yet, and there's a bit of confusion around it, so it's not 100% we can go. But if we do go, I will make sure that I film obviously my review for it for you guys. but. In terms of hotels, well, it's been absolutely amazing, and I said to, really nice. I said to you, it's been my favourite UK hotel I think I've stayed in. Now I love the Legoland Castle Hotel, and I love all the Legoland hotels, and obviously Cheddington's good as well. But in terms of like the Cheddington's a lot, I think it needs more theming. In terms, I mean, obviously, Cheddington's very casual. Cheddington feels like, like a Cheddington feels like a Premier Inn with a good view. Yeah, it's it feels like it's just a little bit more of an upgrade than Premier. I mean, some people love like casual stuff, less themes, more chilled, and everything like that. And if you love that, yeah, sure, it's probably gonna be one of your favorite hotels. But yeah, if you want a properly immersive experience, I would definitely recommend probably Legoland Castle Hotel or this, or like any of the hotels. I presume is gonna be the same. To be honest, they're all really nice hotels. I mean, Merlin do a great job over all the hotels. Even the ones in Gardland and Hyde Park are amazing as well. Yeah, they both feel really good. Well, uh, Legoland is a lot more in the sense of 
it's very busy. Very, it's very great theming, but it's got a lot of like people around, and it's a, you can't sit in there like we did this evening and relax no, for a long so like, time. Like, I mean, you can obviously have a lovely tea. There's a little bar there, but you've not like the same sort of atmosphere that we got at this hotel. I feel like yeah. you're on holiday. I mean, we never got to sit inside, like sit down anywhere. I mean, it was always quite like rushed, but again, like we're near our house, so we're going to be a little bit more rushed because it doesn't feel as such as a holiday. Like this sort of does, but when you're near our house, it doesn't really feel like a holiday, but it was a nice night away. Yeah, we like had some really good stays there. Even like the Caribbean. You get fans like this one here. Oh, it's like, so well, you, you, I love it. You have that sort of feel, and this hotel is lovely. It's like even like the curtain blind, they got all Yeah, so I wonder if you get. So I wonder if you got an English room. I wonder if you get a fan, but because I mean I know you're gonna love their fans, but yeah, never know. I but I think it's been amazing so far, and I'm just I'm absolutely shattered. It's like midnight now, and we've had such a great day exploring the hotel, obviously the park as well. Made to get a vlog out. You won't regret it. And of course, we're going to know tomorrow as well. Whether it's a full day or not, we're going to Water Park, we don't know at the moment. But of course, there's station. One left. Because if there's more than one ticket left, we don't really know. It's a bit confusing at the moment. But we'll split it all tomorrow if we do sort that out. Nevertheless, oh, I'm just shattered to be honest with you guys. And I'm going to waffle on for ages if I don't end it now. But I will see you in the morning. Give us a bit of sleep. Have some breakfast. Give me a little bit of a daytime tour, arcade shop, all of that stuff still to come. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning from over here at the hotel and it was a good night's sleep. Like we said we were gonna wake up at 6.30 and it ended up being 7.57. So basically we've got three minutes now to get down to breakfast, but that kind of sums up how comfortable the beds are because I'm the sort of person who just wakes up at 6 o'clock, 6.30 naturally, and to be able to just lie in till 6 7.57 and still be able to like Wake up. I'm um, that was really good. I was really, really impressed about sleeping over here today and honestly it was so so comfortable, so nice and I was no literally there uh, was no complaints. I thought the whole room was great and one thing that I did notice actually is that the remote looked really really cool and I'm quitting it over. We're all here getting ready at the moment, but the remote right here for T V, we looked at it this morning, it hasn't just got a like front of it, but it's also got a back which is the keyboard. Now, I've never seen that before, but it's such a small idea because you know how annoying it is sometimes when you have to like type in everything by using those little arrows and all right, it's just a really little touches that this hotel has. Even the remote is cool. But we're of course now really running late for breakfast, so we're gonna quickly nip down there, see if we have a nice breakfast or not. But so far this hotel is blooming amazing. I'm really impressed. Snapchat isn't working. I uh, went on Twitter. Oh. Should I take a What a lovely breakfast over there at the Flash Landings Hotel. And I was actually really impressed with that. Like, I heard reviews that it wasn't that good, but eating there, they have such a big selection. Everything you would eat for breakfast, filling dish, they've got bananas, fruit, all that sort of stuff that I love. And it's just amazing. They've got toast, all the you imagine sauces they've got, as well as sitting in such an awesome room. Like, the seats so are not the same up here. But it's got like pineapple on the seats, and like, they got like rocks blending the walls and stuff. And the music is playing, which makes you feel like you're really on a holiday. And it's absolutely awesome. But of course, we're standing out outside of the water park at daytime, which we didn't really show you yesterday. So we're going to try to go down that path as well we did yesterday. And maybe even trying to go out to the outdoor section of the water park. Because, yeah, I mean, all of it looks really cool actually. Like, especially, I mean, like, the inside of the water park only does it the best. I mean, Master Blaster there to stand in front of me looks amazing. But I mean, like, the outfits are pretty good as well. I believe Mark's glasses does go outside, so that's pretty cool. But I don't think there's any of the netter, so you can see your outside. But yeah, it's pretty cool. We're now, gonna check now out. obviously, I'm not going to show you stuff that we really show you yesterday. I might show you a little bit from on the bridge. But I'm going to show you something we didn't really show you yesterday because of, of course, it being night time and everything being closed. But how was your breakfast, Jane? Uh, it was very nice. Actually. It was very nice. I didn't eat a lot, but I wasn't really hungry. But... You know, exactly. I hope we get to go in the water park. Exactly, if you don't get in the water park, or go to the park for an amazing vlog. So whatever happens, you guys will be treated. So, fire yes. us. So, make sure to subscribe. But, let's show you around the Splash Landings Hotel at daytime. So first off, we're just up the staircase, but I think you get one of the best views of the outdoor area. Now, I don't think we get to the bottom of you can get out. Obviously, we will if you can. But look at that outdoor section. It looks absolutely awesome. Like I said, it feels like you're on a holiday resort now. Recently, me and I went towards Lanzarote, and it was actually 2019, I think it was, but there was a slide that looked just like that in the pool. Yeah, it's very And it looked just like that, and it's just look at it, it looks lovely. And also, 
but then you can see on the camera a steam coming out of that slide over there, which means that the water is probably quite hot. So yeah, I mean, I believe there's like heaters in the pool on the outside of it, but in the inside of it, obviously there's not. But that part is actually shut at Christmas, so I don't believe we're allowed there at Christmas. But yeah, you, you currently are allowed there, even though it's meant to be raining today, which is quite weird. But I'm sure if it's raining, even if we do go in, I'm sure we'll definitely go outside. But yeah. Yeah, it's like quite a cool section. If there's there. heaters in the pool, then that means we're not going to freeze. Exactly. Always good news. Today, I'm not a big fan of these, but if you do want to play some arcade games when you're in a hotel at awesome hours, they have got huge arcades. However, I've got to say, the roof hasn't got the same sort of feeling as the rest of our hotels. So it's good, but I'm not going to age this here because I'm not a massive fan of arcades. And but also, again, you're right there, so a world class theme park. And water park as well. So it's like, I don't see a point, but again, it's big enough so you can have a good few hours in here. There's all sort of games, there's slot machines, there's the penny machines that everyone knows and loves, and so, so much more to do in here. So you have, well, you have a choice. You know, I'm spent like £20 in the arcade. Or you can spend £20 in the water park. Uh, or you can spend £20 in the awesome tower shop at in the park. Is that guys? Well, I look at it too. So, like, yeah, it's great. And also, what I might want to know is that it's open from 8am to 10am. It's really close to emotional. It actually does. It makes me quite sad about how nice our stage been over here. And we were it's literally. Emotional. It's emotional. It's, like a, it's just as emotional as you guys got on Fly of the Sky. I know. But literally, I, I, I literally just started filming and I just went, oh, Because I literally just love the yeah, music. We all walked out and we just heard the music. Yeah. Like, and, we, and we all kept going, like, how nice it looked to drive from somewhere. And everyone here it's walking up to the 930. Fun. It really reminds me of that uh, Disney. It does. It is honestly like a big that UK Disney, to be honest with you. But which is a massive compliment from Fortin Tower, I'm not gonna lie. But it feels nice not to have to drive up or wake up mega early to go to the park. And also, I don't know, but you do get a special entrance if you are staying at the hotel, which is over at Nemesis and Galactica, which is absolutely amazing. But yeah, I just, I just wanted to film video for a sec, just to show you the music and the pain. Fortin Towers is like one of my favourite places in the world. Like, it's my favourite place in the UK. Like, would, there's no other place I've been in here, but it's just amazing. Like, everything comes together so well here. I mean, the parks you live in, like Legoland, just their thought park. I mean, they're all great, and like, I love Legoland the most, to be honest, out of all of them, but. Like thought, especially Thought Park, I always think, come on Thought Park, you have literally the potential to be like Orton Towers, just do it, because it's so worth it, all they need to do at Thought Park, as I've said, don't like necessarily add a new coaster, just do park improvements for the next three years, I don't care, it would like, if they make it like this, do that. And make an amazing hotel like this, and like... Yeah, and I bet you they'll think about it and think, no, we're yeah. just going to keep it for two. <laughs> but like I was saying as well earlier, is that... It cost 180 quid for us to stay over here. Well, it's many obviously a big privacy. I think we also got Merlin discount, probably what was a little bit cheaper. But to stay in a hotel normally, have breakfast, so sort of that, it normally costs us 90 quid. It means it's 90 quid extra for us to stay in this hotel. And with the efficiency of just having the monorail, it's you there, it just you know, the park so car. Also, the easiness and also the mega feeling over at this hotel. I honestly think that for 90 quid, it's absolutely worth it. I'm actually probably going to feel quite upset in this hotel. <laughs> I am too, like I said. I, I wish we had like, a, like one more night. Yeah, we even, we even looked it up <laughs> if we had one more night, but unfortunately it cost too much. But like I said, 90 quid, that's like 25 quid each to be able to stay here again, which oh, in my opinion looks absolutely amazing. Like, I would definitely consider it every time I'm heading over towards Horsen Towers Zot. Back in the room now for possibly one last time and it has been an amazing stay. I will give our full review when we get outside of a hotel, whether we've done the water park or not. It's still not guaranteed either way yet, so make sure to stay tuned to see if we do the water park and give you a review of that as well. But yeah, absolutely phenomenal stay, and I can't recommend it any more to you guys if you are visiting Orton Towers. But a little bit of information on what we're doing now. We are now going to be heading over towards the Orton Towers park itself, I will be showing you a few clips along the way to show you how you get to the really cool entrance outside of Nemesis and Galactica if you are staying in one of the Orton Towers hotels and there is a lot of them. Also we will be heading into the park. If we go to the water park we will then leave the park halfway through the day to then head to the water park and then I will give you a view then. So it may be a bit of a different weather or climate or even daytime when we are there 
but we will be giving you a review of that as well. And in terms of going to the park, that vlog will obviously be up on the channel, so make sure to check that out for our day two vlog over there. We are now standing in the park on a hotel vlog. I know, weird, right? But the reason why we're standing here is because we've just found out that we are going to be going into the water park. And oh, it's just cool, that's James down, and said that we've got our tickets booked. So honestly, I'm mega excited for it. It's going to be absolutely awesome. I just wanted to let us know, hello, food park hosted, when we do go over towards the thing, because I really want our first reactions are just finding out at least that we are going to go in there. So, it's five o'clock booking, we're going to enjoy some more time at the park, and then we'll catch up with you when we do end up going towards the water park itself. So, we'll see you then. It's water park time. It's the only word to describe that water park back there. It was perfect. It was a great way to end the Auto Towers Hotel vlog, to end today, to end the Yorkshire Road trip, to end everything. It's just such a great topping on the cake that water park was. But I got the ever about it, but of course, we do have to end this one at some point. So I'm so happy that we managed to get into that water park. And I'm going to say, it's like, I'll let you guys explain a little bit about all water parks, but basically, there's an indoor and there's an outdoor section. There's loads of water sides, hot tubs, there's seating areas, there's ice cream stands, there's food, there's a little bar. It has everything that you can imagine. Honestly, it was fantastic. Like, we went in there, we're not expecting an awful lot. We came out mind blown. It was just so great. And also, one last look at the hotel that we stayed in before we now leave after an amazing stay. But yeah, that water park, tons of money. It cost us around 14 pounds each because we're annual pass holders. And like I said, even if it's not, it's just a great thing. And you don't need to be staying in the hotel or even any of the hotels to go to the water park. You could just book up right in one of our station and experience that but I'm going to ask Jake and Quinny just to really explain how you felt because of course you've got to get in your car in a sec to go home after an amazing trip so how did you find the water park oh, the water and the hotel? Amazing. The hotel was also very amazing I definitely recommend if you're coming here for two days definitely try uh, especially yeah. if you've never been I think we just feel like one more day would be perfect yeah. uh, the water park amazing there's a slide that has like different like you can press like different options with diff and there's one the that I kept pressing the big seven, which plays different fire time tracks. But I'll let Adam fully explain it. Yeah, so Adam, explain the water park basically. Oh, it was insane, right? It's my favorite water park in the UK, and about the slide. So basically, there was one. I mean, it's very confusing which side to go on and which ones you like choose and everything. But it's not that clear. But yeah, anyway, once you get the hang of it, it's really good. So one of the slides is there's two slides you can either choose the option of just lights on, which we did first. Then you can also have the option of there's like Big Seven, there's loads of different options if you want the tower zone track. And with the Big Seven, we get like a random one. So, I mean, Jane didn't get one of them. I can't remember. Oblivion, I didn't get Oblivion. Oblivion. I said, we all didn't get all that's got other like yeah. missions. I went on every single button. There's loads of different. Know if it was on some are female, led to some aren't, so you can pick which one you want. But, though. Jane, quickly, before you get in your car, how would you rate the hotel and how would you rate the water park out of 10? Uh, I would. Hotel 9, water park 9. Yeah, I would. There's, there's... Uh, and my trip. I'll give a 10 out of 10. Yeah, and that's it, 9 for us. We're being, we're being harsh. We're not like going, oh, 10 out of 10, because there's always little flocks of all them, but honestly, I can't think of anything apart from maybe a little queue for the big one. But apart from that, yeah, I mean, there's nothing one. really. About I'm, I'm a big one, I mean the like mega splasher, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the queue for it was about 60 minutes, and that was quite a long time, but we only did it once actually. It's called Master Blast, you know. Um, but yeah, basically what happened with that is I thought it was pretty tame. So we were going down all the drops and we thought, oh, that's a little bit tame. It's quite cool that it goes up again though. Like the it big, really it's the big cool. one it's you got. Launch. But I mean, we went round it and I was thinking, uh, I just paid like 14 pounds to come in here and it was, and it wasn't great. And then you went into the tunnel and boom, you literally went down a double down and I, I whacked my leg on the side. It wasn't that good. It was incredible. Like it was one of the best water sites in the world after that. But overall the hotel was being really nice. Like. All the hotels here look amazing. I hope to try out some more. In the future, yeah, definitely in the future, because it's also yeah. a great position. But how would you rate the water park and the hotel out of 10? Both of so, them. If we start with the hotel, I'd probably rate it a nine. And the only reason because of that is the restaurant. Yeah, that was it was good. very hard to find a booking. Um, if they can sort that out, it may be because of COVID. And if it is, it would probably be a 10. But if that was any problem. Water park, I would probably say nine and a half, ten, to be honest. Yeah. It was incredible. I don't think I couldn't anything. think of any thoughts. Like, yeah. even even I got an outdoor section of it where everyone's admitting to the other side, but I can't go into everything. There's so it, much to do. Just get it yourself. Yeah, I think the only thing problem was 
well, well I'd give it nine and a half was because of the busyness like, yeah we, we, we were supposed to be like an hour for a big slide and last, one of the yeah. miles I'll let you know as well it's unlike the theme parks where they close the queue at exactly. the closing time in this one here they actually close a little bit forward to allow everyone to get on and like I, said, yeah. I don't mind which I mean, one they do we don't mind, like, we're gonna get just back. obviously I prefer when they let us in at the like, yeah. o'clock but if you just think logically in the last half an hour we're jumping the queue for the big one uh, like the mega splasher thing and then if you do that then you can then uh, obviously do otherwise but outdoor wise they've got loads of seating it's great in the summer lots of like palm trees and everything and in terms of the slides as well you've got one set of slides you go down into a little pool but another set of slides and there's loads That's of slides really nice though, loads of, I yeah, it sort of gives you like a little dip so you sort of go through it and then you go down a slide and you've got two options it gives you a little dip and then you've got another three options and we actually did all of them obviously we're, 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 but yeah i actually yeah. It's, it's such an amazing place like we were thinking inside yeah are we actually all in towers it was crazy yeah and obviously i'm talking about fast because we do have to get back in the car and travel three hours home which is the only corner of a hotel you have to leave it but I'd give the hotel a nine. And I'm like Adam and Jane, I'd give it a nine. Possibly going towards a ten if it was a bit more quiet. But again, the business makes the theming, and if it, it is, really did, and if it yeah. is hot outside, if it's like boiling outside, we could have sat in like the nice like seating area in their garden and got some ice creams. Like I said, yeah. So five oh, also, hours. Nothing to mention. There was actually slushies in there. So yeah. if you dig into the water park, you have slushies, yeah, and yeah. drinks. And okay, like that. that is awesome. And so much more. Five hours you probably need for it. But that is it for me, Tom, Derek, Jane, and Adam from the hotel vlog Saturday. over here and the water park. It's so sad to leave. I hope you all enjoyed. Check out other videos on the channel. And I will see you guys later. We're going to run to our car now. Goodbye, guys.